Another day, another story. Welcome to this video on the Roman Empire, one of the most influential and powerful empires in human history. Spanning from the 8th century BC to the 5th century AD, the Roman Empire has left an indelible mark on the world, shaping the development of Western civilization and influencing the way we live, think and govern today. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the history of the Roman Empire, exploring its origins, rise, peak, decline and fall. We will examine the political, economic, social, cultural, and military factors that contributed to the success and failure of this great empire. So, buckle up, grab some popcorn, and let's begin our journey into the Roman Empire. Part 1. The Origins of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire had humble beginnings. It was founded in 753 BC by two brothers, Romulus and Remus, who according to legend, were raised by a she-wolf. The city of Rome was built on seven hills along the Tiber River, and it quickly became a center of trade and commerce. The early Roman Republic was characterized by a complex system of government that was based on the principles of checks and balances, separation of powers, and representative democracy. The Roman Senate, composed of wealthy and influential citizens, played a crucial role in the decision-making process. However, the Roman Republic was not without its flaws. The struggle for power among the ruling elite led to political instability and corruption, and the growing economic inequality between the rich and the poor created social tensions that would eventually erupt into violence. Part 2. The Rise of the Roman Empire. The rise of the Roman Empire began in the 1st century BC, when Julius Caesar, a popular and charismatic general, rose to power. He introduced a series of reforms aimed at improving the lives of the Roman citizens, such as the establishment of a new calendar, the construction of public works, and the expansion of the Roman Empire through military conquests. However, Caesar's reforms were not without controversy. His increasing power and authority threatened the traditional balance of power in the Roman Republic, and his assassination in 44 BC plunged the Roman world into chaos. After Caesar's death, a power struggle ensued between his heirs and the Roman Senate. Eventually, the first Roman Emperor, Augustus, emerged as the undisputed ruler of Rome in 27 BC. He introduced a new era of peace and stability, known as the Pax Romana, which lasted for over two centuries. During the Pax Romana, the Roman Empire reached its peak, with vast territorial expansions, technological advancements, and cultural achievements. The empire's economy thrived on the exploitation of natural resources, slave labor, and trade, making it the wealthiest and most powerful state in the world. Part 3. The Decline of the Roman Empire. However, the Pax Romana was not sustainable in the long run. The Roman Empire faced numerous challenges that weakened its power and stability, including economic crises, political corruption, military defeats, and barbarian invasions. The decline of the Roman Empire began in the 3rd century AD, when a series of weak and ineffective emperors failed to address these challenges. The empire became divided into two halves, with the western half facing greater challenges than the eastern half. In the 4th century AD, the Roman Empire faced a new threat from the rise of Christianity, which challenged the traditional Roman religion and social hierarchy. Emperor Constantine, who converted to Christianity, tried to reconcile the two religions by establishing a new state religion, but this only created more divisions and conflicts. In the 5th century AD, the Roman Empire finally collapsed under the pressure of internal and external challenges. The western half of the empire was overrun by barbarian invasions, while the eastern half continued to survive as the Byzantine Empire. Part 4. The Legacy of the Roman Empire. Despite its eventual collapse, the Roman Empire left a lasting legacy on the world. Its language, Latin, formed the basis of many modern European languages, and its legal system, based on the principle of codified law, influenced the development of modern law. The Roman Empire also made significant contributions to art, architecture, engineering, and science. Its monumental structures, such as the Colosseum and the Pantheon, continue to inspire awe and wonder today and its engineering feats, such as aqueducts and roads, improved the quality of life for its citizens. In addition, the Roman Empire played a crucial role in the spread of Christianity, which eventually became the dominant religion in Europe and much of the world. Part 5. The Military of the Roman Empire. One of the key factors in the success of the Roman Empire was its military might. 
The Roman army was one of the most powerful and disciplined fighting forces in the ancient world. It was made up of well-trained and well-equipped soldiers who were highly organized and efficient in battle. The Roman army was divided into different units, including legions, cohorts, and centuries, each with its own command structure and specialized tasks. The soldiers were highly disciplined and were subject to strict codes of conduct and punishment. The Roman army was instrumental in the expansion of the empire, conquering vast territories and defeating numerous enemies. Its military tactics and technology, such as the use of the pilum and the construction of fortified walls and forts, set the standard for future armies. However, the success of the Roman army was not without its costs. The constant need for military expansion and defense put a heavy burden on the Roman economy and society. The reliance on slave labor to support the army also created social tensions and inequality. Part 6. The Economy of the Roman Empire. The Roman economy was based on a complex system of agriculture, trade, and manufacturing. It relied on the exploitation of natural resources, such as minerals and timber, and the use of slave labor to produce goods and services. The Roman Empire was a major hub of international trade, with goods flowing in and out of the empire through its vast network of roads and sea routes. Roman merchants and traders played a crucial role in the exchange of goods, including silk, spices, and precious metals. The Roman economy was also supported by a sophisticated system of taxation and finance. The Roman government collected taxes from its citizens, and the revenue was used to fund public works, such as roads, aqueducts, and public buildings. However, the Roman economy was not without its challenges. The reliance on slave labor created social tensions and inequality, and the constant need for expansion and military defense put a heavy burden on the economy. In addition, the Roman economy was vulnerable to external shocks, such as natural disasters, wars, and epidemics. Part 7. The Culture of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was renowned for its rich and diverse culture, which encompassed art, literature, philosophy, religion, and architecture. Roman art was characterized by its realism, attention to detail, and emphasis on mythological and historical themes. Roman literature included works by famous authors such as Virgil, Horace, and Ovid, who wrote epic poems, plays, and philosophical treatises. The Roman Empire was also known for its philosophy, which was influenced by the Greek tradition. Stoicism, Epicureanism, and Neoplatonism were among the most popular philosophical schools in Rome. Religion played an important role in Roman culture, with the traditional Roman religion centered around the worship of gods and goddesses, such as Jupiter, Venus, and Mars. However, the rise of Christianity challenged the traditional Roman religion, eventually becoming the dominant religion in the empire. Finally, Roman architecture was characterized by its monumental structures, such as the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and the Aqueducts. These structures were not only functional but also served as symbols of Roman power and achievement. Conclusion The Roman Empire was a complex and multifaceted civilization that left an indelible mark on the world. Its military might, economic prosperity, cultural achievements, and political institutions continue to inspire awe and wonder today. However, the Roman Empire was not without its flaws and challenges. The constant need for expansion and military defense put a heavy burden on the economy and society, and the reliance on slave labor created social tensions and inequality. As we look back on the history of the Roman Empire, we can learn important lessons about the benefits and dangers of empire building, the importance of effective governance, and the need for social equality and justice. Despite its eventual collapse, the legacy of the Roman Empire continues to shape the world today. Its language, legal system, art, architecture, and philosophy have influenced the development of modern Western civilization. As we move forward into the future, it is important to reflect on the lessons of the past and strive to build a more just, equitable, and sustainable world. By learning from the triumphs and failures of the Roman Empire, we can create a brighter future for ourselves and future generations. The Roman Empire was one of the most powerful and influential empires in human history. Its rise and fall were shaped by a complex set of political, economic, social, cultural, and military factors, and its legacy continues to influence the world today. As we reflect on the history of the Roman Empire, we can learn valuable lessons about the importance of strong institutions, effective governance, and social equality, as well as the dangers of corruption, inequality, and military overreach. 
Thank you for joining me on this journey through the Roman Empire. I hope you found it informative and engaging, and I encourage you to continue exploring the rich and fascinating history of this great civilization. Thanks for watching.